Let's build dory frames. The Pacific Power Dory is made of 13 frames and each frame is constructed in this basic method. You've got a piece on the bottom with a cutout for the keel and then a piece up the sides which you then notch to put in a chine and a shear. In South Australia you can only tow loads that are 2.5 metres wide. For that reason I've had to reduce the width of the boat by a factor of 0.965. I applied that factor to every single width dimension on the boat. This is how easy it is to build the frames on the Pacific Power Dory. Done. Apart from two screws which are screwing here and a bit of glue. Of course you've got to get the dimensions of the frames correct. Basically the correct angle here. So you set one piece of wood along an edge, you measure up and across, set your frame at the correct angle, then you're ready to glue and screw it together. Have a look at this frame on the Glenelg Squirt. This frame consists of 10 pieces, some of which are cut with curves. In January we went on holidays to Moonta Bay and I thought there was no better opportunity to build the frames for the dory, so loaded up the trailer with the wood, built the frames. Here's a sketch of a frame. Now when I made them, I measured from here to here instead of from here to here. Which meant I had to make all the frames twice. At Moonta, and we're off to the hardware store behind the old antique shop to get extra wood to fix a slight mistake. I'm just going to be trimming off the uh, excess wood with the good old handsaw. There we have it. Before I actually started building the boat, I did some tests to see how strong the frame joints would be. Alrighty, so here's our joint that we glued up. I'm going to test the strength of it. Pretty strong. I think that's gonna make for a successful dory.